All right, you guys, let's check out how to make this analog VHS text effect here in After Effects. Let's make a new composition. These are my settings, 1080p, 30 frames per second, click OK. Let's go and double click on the rectangle to make a black background. I'm gonna collapse it, uncheck it. Let's select the Type tool and type in something. For the font, I went with Acura Extended Super Bold. Press the letter P for position, press and hold Alt, click on the stopwatch, and I'm gonna type in Wiggle and I'm gonna go with 10, five. Click somewhere here. I'm also gonna add some animation on this, so let's go to the effects and presets, open up the animation preset. Let's go to the text, open it up, and let's open up the animate in, and here you can double click on one of the animations and hit play, and it's gonna do it automatically. I think I gotta try out the decode by random character. All right, so next I'm gonna go and right click here, new, select the adjustment layer, and I'm gonna go to effects and presets, type in Gaussian Blur. Let's drag the Gaussian Blur on the adjustment layer. I'm gonna increase the blur to 28. Let's go back to effects, search for Venetian blinds. Let's go and drag and drop this Venetian blind under the Gaussian Blur. Let's go to transition, I'm gonna type in 66. Direction is gonna be 90 degrees, width 29. And now I'm gonna go to the Gaussian Blur and duplicate it, press Ctrl D and drag the Gaussian Blur number 2 under the Venetian blinds. Now of course you can do this with the feathering, but I think the Gaussian Blur gives some better results. So I'm gonna go here with 18, let's go down and select all the layers, right click, and let's select pre-comp. Rename it as text, click OK. Let's go to effects and presets, search for shift channel. I drag it under the text layer, and I'm gonna select the text layer, press Ctrl D twice. Let's select the top text layer, Let's go to the shift channels and I'm gonna turn off the green. Let's go turn off and turn off the blue. Now I'm gonna go to the second text layer. I'm gonna go to red, turn it off. And then I'm gonna turn off the blue as well. And about least let's go to the third layer and I'm gonna go to the red, turn it off. Let's go to the green, turn it off. So we're left with the blue. Now let's select all three layers. Let's go to the mode. If you don't have this option, you can go and click on the toggle switch and it's gonna make it disappear or appear. And I'm gonna select add. Now let's go and select the top text layer. I'm gonna press and hold shift, press the left arrow. I'm gonna press it twice. And I'm gonna select the bottom text layer. I'm gonna press and hold shift and press the right arrow twice. And I'm also gonna press the down arrow. And I'm gonna arrange it a little bit better. There you go. Let's go and add another adjustment layer. And I'm gonna bring the adjustment layer on the top. Now I'm gonna go to effects and presets, search for add grain. Add it on the adjustment layer. Let's go to preview, change it to final output, preset. I'm gonna go with codec vision 250, increase the intensity to two, size 1.5. I'm also gonna search for hue saturation, drag it under the green. I'm gonna increase the master saturation quite a bit. And then I'm gonna go and search for glow, I drag it under the hue saturation, and I'm gonna increase the glow radius. Hit play, and I have your vintage IBM looking analog screen here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.